text as our long format rewriting tool. So if you've got any large amount of text that you want GPT to operate on, um, this can just let you do all that in one go without having to kind of break it up into segments and send it to GPT. Um, so you might want it to translate something or to rewrite some content that you've done before, maybe a book or a course, write it in a new style or to a new audience. Um, or you might want it to summarize for you as well, so it can summarize documents. It's quite good at that. I'm just going to start it off and then I will show you how to use it. Um, oh, it's not the right link. So this is a book that our book writing tool wrote. It's 36,000 words. Um, so I'm going to paste that in. And it's going to do is going to break that up into chunks for me. It's going to put them in column B, as you can see there. So done. You can close that. And process, and I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, first you choose how many words you want to give GPT each time. So if you have it over this, it gives you some instructions. So 400 is ideal for anything that you want to do that's kind of one-to-one. -one. So if you want to rewrite it, you want the new version to be the same number of words, or you want it to translate it, um, then one-to-one -one is ideal. But if you want any kind of summarizing in there, um, then you may want to give GPT more words at a time. So GPT only ever outputs 400 words. So if you do, if you give it 800 each time, you're asking for if it's giving you 400 out, then obviously you've got to like get two to one compression going on there. And um, so you might want to translate it and summarize it, for example, at the same time. And um, so we've picked 400 here. And then step two is you put in your instruction so for the GPT. Uh, like any prompt, it's worth testing different prompts to make sure you're getting the right result. Um, so I've asked it to translate this book into Spanish, but you can put in much more detailed prompts. So if you're asking it to rewrite it in a certain style, you know, you can tell it the age of the new audience and how complicated the material should be and, and things like that. And um, you click the upload, which I did before, and paste in your material. And that'll break that up for you. Process will process it. As you can see here, it started rewriting it into Spanish. Um, yeah, and that's, I've checked already, and that's the same number of words when I checked it. So this cell was 3,000 words, about 3,000 words, and when I checked the Spanish one, it was 3,000 words as well. So yeah, as you can see, it works. It's already two parts through the book. So yeah, it's quite quick, considering it's a 56,000 word book. Um, I'll just cancel it there for now to show you. And then once you've finished, um, you, step five is get the output. So it'll just give you it in a little box. Um, and then you can kind of control A, control C, and go to whatever document and then um, I usually just paste as plain text just to make sure no weird formatting or anything gets carried across um, and it's already on, you can't see it there but it's already done nine pages now and um, to give you a little word count yep, 5,000 words translated and um, so yeah it's pretty quick and um, uses like it sends an array of prompts to GPT which is something I found out was about and quite recently, so instead of sending one command at a time, you can you can with the API send ten at once and process all ten and bring them back. And so yeah, it tries to send like ten lots of your prompt and ten lots of four hundred words and bring them back and put them in there. And um, so this one's um, a paid one. It's on our website. It's quite cheap. And to set it up, once you bought it, you go to the instructions tab. And um, just like all the other tools, if you just follow these steps: file and make a copy. And then you'll have your own copy. You have to get your API key for OpenAI if you haven't got one. And just paste it in there. And it just has to stay in that cell um, for it to work. Um, yeah, and that's it. Paste in your text. Go to rewrite it however you wish. If it doesn't work, it'll, if the prompt, if it's not quite giving you the right output, if you think the prompt's not right, obviously just delete what you've done. Um, give it a new prompt and try again. Uh, once you've finished, once you've got all your copy and stuff, um, there's a little menu option to clear the text as well, which is this one. I think I've got them in the wrong order, actually, I'll fix that. <laughs> um, but they're all there anyway, there's buttons, so upload, process, and then get your output. Um, but yeah, there's also a little clear text there. And that's it, so it's quite a quick and easy tool to use, but obviously very handy if you have a large document um, that you might want to rewrite. Okay, enjoy.